entire residents of Hounslow would know that you use bad language. <laughs> right. So. I'm uh, I'm going to be chairing the meeting this evening. Uh, It's now 7.30 p.m., so I'd like to welcome you all to this virtual meeting of Hounslow's licensing panel. I would like to welcome the members of the panel who are sitting today, as well as council officers who will be assisting members throughout the meeting. In addition, I would like to welcome members of the public who are watching this meeting at home. The way the meeting will work would be that as chair, I will be running the meeting and inviting people to speak. As it's very easy for people to speak over each other in a meeting like this, I will ask each member or officer to speak in turn at the appropriate stage. This will mean that there should normally be no need for people to interrupt or to ask to speak. However, I shall make sure that members have ample opportunity to ask questions and make comments on the reports and applications before them. The exception to this arrangement will be legal committee or licensing officers who may turn on their microphone to, to alert me to any legal governance or licensing issues that need addressing, although I'd expect this to be a rare occurrence. The etiquette for members of the panel and for officers who are expecting to speak will be to mute your microphones until you're asked to speak. This means that only one person will be speaking at a time and there'll be no background noise, making it easier for us all to follow the meeting and also for those watching at home. I will also ask members always to say who they are when they make a contribution and to speak slowly and clearly for the same reason. We have three members of the licensing committee with us today to form this licensing panel, and it is we that will be making the decisions. The officers of the council will provide assistance and advice as required but the final decision will be made by members. I would now like to introduce each of the members here tonight, one by one. I will start. Yep. My name is Councillor Richard Foote. I'm, a, I'm elected from uh, Hamworth Ward um, and I'm chair of the licensing committee. Medea, do you want to introduce yourself? Thank you very much, Chair, and uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Councillor Madiha Asim and I am the Ward Councillor for Feltham West Ward. I will be one of the members of this panel today. Thank you. Um, Councillor Butts, can you introduce yourself? Uh, you need your microphones muted. My name is Kazala Butt. I am representing the Frankfurt Ward. Good evening, everyone. Right. I am in the panel this, e this evening. OK, thank you, Zana. Right, can you mute your microphones now? Um, so now I'm going to invite each officer to speak at the meeting in turn. So I'm going to uh, ask Nicola Harbour, licensing officer. Nicola, introduce yourself. Hi there, my name's Nicola Harbour and I'm the licensing authority officer. Yeah, Baljeet, can you introduce yourself? Well, good evening. My name is Ms. Baljeet Verdi from HB Public Law. I am the legal advisor to the panel. Right, thank you. We also have officers acting in a producing role for the technical side of the meeting, but as they're not expected to be involved in the discussions, I will not thank them for their help, but not ask them to introduce themselves. I will, sorry, I will thank them for their help and, and not ask them to introduce themselves. Right, have everybody muted their microphones again? Uh, right, members of the public are reminded that the agenda and all the reports being considered by the panel this evening can be found on the council website under the licensing panel meetings page. So if you want to see them, that is where to look. I also want to make sure that all members have seen the agenda and the reports. Please now speak if you've not had them. I would like to remind members of the need to hear all of the evidence in each report we're considering tonight. That's a legal requirement. If you should find that you're having technical problems and need to log out of the meeting and come back in again, please let me know immediately or as soon as possible by turning on your microphone. This would be a permitted interruption. 
we can then decide how far we need to recap if that's necessary or if the member needs not to not vote on that item. Finally, I would say to any member of the public listening or watching, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We hope that this meeting will go well, but any virtual meeting may suffer from an unexpected technical hitch, so please bear with us. I should also clarify that this meeting is being recorded and will be made available on the Council's YouTube channel in the next few days. Contributors to the meeting are asked to remember that therefore they will therefore be included in the recording of the public meeting. Thank you. We now move on to the agenda. We now move on to the license and application for decision on this meeting. This afternoon's application is an application for a premises license for Farfesh, 1 Spur Road, Isleworth, Cyan and Brentford Lock Ward. Where we need to, to time contributions, I will ask the legal officer to alert me when allocated timings have been reached. I will also ask her to alert me to any of the guillotine being reached if not included in the meeting. I, I may, may I remind all members um, and public speakers at this meeting to introduce themselves each time they speak and also to turn off their microphones when they finish speaking. It's also important to speak slowly and clearly so that everyone can understand what you're saying. Finally, if you make reference to any agenda documentation, please give the page and the paragraph. Right, the process for an application with speakers is as follows. First, stage one, the officer introdu introduction and conf confirmation of facts. Stage two is the police, license authority and other body case. Stage three is the applicant's case when the applicant will be invited to make their uh, presentation. And then stage four will be other persons including the objectors to make their, their case. In the summing up, I will then invite all parties to sum up their positions with the applicants being entitled to the last word with their summing up being the last to take place. The panel will then leave the meeting to discuss the case and reach its decision. It will be joined by no one else except the legal officer who's there to give advice on the law, but not be party to the decision. Item seven, once we have we have made the decision, we will return to the meeting to read out our decision to, on the application and that will conclude consideration of the item. We will now, we will therefore now begin the formal hearing of, the, of this case. I will start by inviting the licensing officer to introduce the report. Thank you, Chair. Members are requested to determine an application for the grant of a premises license in respect of Farfresh, 1 Spur Road, Isleworth, TW7 5BD. This application was submitted by Mr. MJD Alcazaz. Uh, licensable activities applied for are as follows. Live music indoors, Thursday to Saturday, 2300 hours till 1.30. Recorded music indoors, Monday to Tuesday, 8 to 2300 hours, Wednesday, 8 to 2330, Thursday to Saturday, 8 to 130, Sunday, 10 to 2330. Late night refreshment indoors, Monday to Wednesday and Sunday, 2300 hours to 2330, Thursday to Saturday, 2300 hours to 130. Opening hours of the premises, Monday to Wednesday, 8 to 23.30, Thursday to Saturday, 8 to 1.30, Sunday, 10 to 23.30. The application has been properly made and all procedures correctly followed. The application has been attached as Appendix A. <coughs> the premises are not currently licensed. The premises are situated in an area of mainly residential properties and some commercial. The appropriate ward councillors, neighbouring wards, local residents and responsible authorities have been consulted. Of those consultees identified in paragraph 6.2, there have been four representations, three from other persons with concern about the ongoing problem with noise and antisocial behaviour. The, the, the representations in full have been attached as Appendix B. 
A representation has also been submitted by the licensing enforcement team, outlining a number of noise complaints received against the premises, also suggesting conditions that could be added to the license if granted. The representation in full has been attached as Appendix C. A copy of the report and representations received have been sent to the applicant. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Right, can I now ask the applicant if you agree the circumstances as described by the officer? And just to clarify, this is not the time for you to put your own cases, just to get confirmation of the facts at this stage. Good evening, everyone. My name is Majid Al Kazaz. I'm, a, I'm the business owner for Farfish Limited. Yes, at this stage, we're just asking if you agree the circumstances as described by the officer. Yes, I agree. OK, thank you. Right. Right. Um, now I'm now identifying we have had um, a, a, a case put forward by the licensing authority. Is is it Mr. Todd representing us? It's Mr. Dodd, Chair. Dodd, sorry, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> okay. My apologies. No problem at all. Right. Okay. Are, are you ready, Lewis, to uh, put your report now? Yes, I'll I'll do a, a summary of what I've written because I don't need to propose to take us through it all. Um, it is four pages after all, um, but it is from page 26 to 29, which is Appendix C of the report. Um, as you'll see, I've put in an objection to this application on the basis of the prevention of public nuisance and the pre prevention of crime and disorder licensing objectives. Um, one reason for this, if we go scroll to the second page, first paragraph, is that it's located within a special policy area and the special policy area says that the onus is on the applicant to show to us that the that they are going to not add to the cumulative impact experienced in the area um, now whilst on the second paragraph the applicant has offered a number of conditions within the operating schedule uh, it's licensing authority condition view that these conditions do not go far enough to address the concerns raised from potential public nuisance crime and disorder and cumulative impact from the operation of the proposed restaurant premises with substantial music offering. Furthermore, the operation of this venue, even before the grant of a license, has given rise to a considerable number of complaints relating to public nuisance. And I've provided details of those. Um, let's see, we've got one on the 15th of January, complaint of loud music from the premises. 5th of February, complaint of loud music from the premises. 27th of February, on several occasions, complaint of loud music from the premises. 12th of March, complaint of loud music from the premises. 4th of May, licensing representation received at alleging loud music on Friday and Saturday nights from 23 to 0, 100 onwards. Uh, and again on the 6th of May, complaint of loud music and the 13th of May, complaint of loud music. Now obviously they are just complaints, I accept that, um, but furthermore we've also visited or our enforcement officers have visited and have found on four occasions problems at the venue on the 16th of January, live music was witnessed at 0035 hours. That's important because that's unlicensed. Um, 5th, of, 5th of February 2356, a noise nuisance was witnessed. So not only were they playing unlicensed music, but it was so loud it was a noise nuisance. 6th of May, music witnessed from premises which could be heard in complaints property and was therefore a noise nuisance. So again, unlicensed music is actually causing a noise nuisance. And and same thing again on the 13th of May, noise nuisance witnessed. So these complaints and noise nuisances give the licensing authority absolutely no confidence that the, this operator should be operating a premises license. Before they've been given a premises license, they're already breaking license in law and causing a noise nuisance. And as such, the licensing authority believes the license application should be refused in its entirety as it's not a responsible operator and we don't believe the licensing objectives will be upheld. However, in saying this, if the committee is minded to grant, and we're on the third page of my representation, I have suggested conditions that I believe would help to promote the licensing objectives. And they are the eight conditions from page three of my representation going into page four. 
there has also been a number of conditions operated by the applicant in their operating schedule. I do believe if the license is granted, they should also be attached to the license to help promote the licensing objectives. Uh, last point is that there are some hours sought in excess of core licensing hours po policy, which is on the fourth paragraph of page four of my representation. Um, and I believe that if a license was granted, the hours should be brought back to be in line with our core hours policy. Um, and just in summary, uh, the, the premises is in a uh, cumulative impact area and the onus is on the applicant to demonstrate that they will not add to cumulative impact. The application like we do not believe does that. And in addition, the premises has already caused problems with loud music causing issues for residents and has also caused a noise nuisance and broken licensing legislation before even being granted a license. As such, it's our belief the license application should be refused in its entirety. But if the committee is mind to grant, I would ask that the conditions and the reduced hours we've asked for are considered. Thank you very much, Chair. Right, thank you, Lewis. OK, uh, right, can I come to the councillors? Have you any questions of Lewis? Madea first. Any questions of the officer? None uh, as of yet. Thank you. OK. Um, Councillor Butt, do you have any questions of the officer? No. I have no any question. Thank you, Chair. OK. OK. Um, all right. Can I, I just really want to, I mean, some of these, uh, these enforcements that you talk of here took place after the application was lodged. Was it not true? Yes, I believe so. the later, some of the later ones were, yes. And at any time did the, did, did your did yourself or, or whoever was the attending officer did they bring that to their attention in the premises i wasn't i wasn't there so i don't know what was actually said i've only got what was on on the complaints and that wasn't mentioned as part of it um but obviously it is it is of note that there was a license application in at the time when some of these incidents were occurring yeah okay thank you Lewis. right um Right, can I go now to um, the, the, the objectors? Do you have any questions of the officer? No, I'm not getting any response. So uh, I'm going to switch to the applicant. Do you wish to ask any questions of the, of the officer? Who's just given his report? Uh, I don't have any question, but I want to just uh, tell you about the witnesses that you had after the application being submitted. So Sorry, no, 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 witnesses are, are, are something in type. No, you, you know, I mean, you, you, you can't comment at this stage about witnesses. I'm not sure what you're saying. You said you wish to make a comment about the witnesses. That, that he, he said, the officer, he said that he witnessed uh, three times uh, that we was playing a live music. But yeah. my comment is that time we are allowed to allowed to play live music till 11 o'clock. After 11 o'clock, we wasn't trading. The staff was cleaning and playing music in the background. And I already told them off about this. Since that then you do. Sorry, I don't know which, which you're talking about. You're, you're answering the questions, the officer, but I, I don't know which ones you're talking about. I mean, the ones that the officer, the four complaints, which they visited your premises, were all after 11 o'clock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying but we wasn't trading. That's what I'm trying to say. We wasn't trading after 11 o'clock. But you like played out music. music. Not a live music, it was recorded the music from the staff. Yeah, it didn't say live, loud music. Loud music. Yeah, the fact it that was, you're not trading is, is irrelevant, isn't it? Yes, we was, because we had that time, we had a party until, a private party until 11 o'clock, and the staff was, yeah, but the music is is licensed. Yes, you can't have music. I, I mean, you must. I mean, 
Forget anything else. You must understand yeah. that you can't have, even if you've got a private party, you can't then introduce music and playing it till, you know, one o'clock in the morning um, and, and, yeah. and disturbing neighbours. You can't do that. I agree with this. I'm a, as a businessman responsible, I'm here to make business. I'm not here to disturb the neighbor. Okay, now we're uh, uh, commenting upon your comments. So basically, we are family business run, three brothers. So yeah, now you'll, you'll have the opportunity to make your case for your point. I'm asking you if you've got uh, questions of the officer, Mr. I have Don. No questions. No, no okay, questions, right. Thank you. Right. So, right, I'm now going to ask the, uh, the the applicant to make their their case. So uh, you... sorry, it's um, Sergeant Verdi here. Uh, I wonder if I could ask a question just as a point of clarification. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Go on. Uh, is that okay? Uh, to Mr. Dodd? Yes, by all means. By that, just a, I, I note that you're saying that's on record. With the noise nuisance that was witnessed, um, was it noted uh, what kind of music it was or was it live unamplified amplified live music or recorded music or is there any notes about that i believe it was recorded music but it was the it's obviously the volume was was an issue um and obviously beyond 11 o'clock it, it needs a license regardless of any of the uh, live music act um exemptions but cer you. certainly not not live as far as i'm aware thank you for clarifying thank you right okay Right, so, so I'm now going to ask the applicant. Uh, all my pictures are going all over the place. Um, I'm now going to ask the applicant that they can present their case and, and, and you can speak for five minutes in total and then answer questions from all the other parties. OK, so are you, are you ready to make your case? Yes. OK. This, yeah, if you go ahead, Mr. Yeah. Alka, Alka says. So I would like to introduce myself. We are a family run business. We are three brothers. We established the, uh, our business to, uh, since 2018. And we have we are a restaurant. Our main cell is a food Italian restaurant. Covid is a has affected us like the business unable to operate. We was unable to operate like for a while. And we are like financial loss. We are trying, we are trying, we want to do something different. So to attract people because people habit had ch have changed since COVID. So people, they don't want to go out. They don't want to like, they just have like, they just ordering food delivery and this. So we trying to do something different. That's why, that's the reason we trying to get the late night food, private parties and recorded music. So and live music into train. So we wanted to do something different without like to disturbing our neighbor or like, like just for the business because we are like free family. Like, and is the cost of living has been increased, all this. So we wanted to do something different. Is, is that all, Mr. Alcazar? Yes. So about the noise that has been, we ha I have like about the the noise that complaint has been witnessed. As I said, that we wasn't trading after eleven. I know we like that was breaking the law. We broke the law because the staff wasn't aware of this, and the staff, while they was cleaning, they put the music 
and they played loud music. So I told I told them off about this. And since that then, so they didn't do that. Even I told the chef while he's cleaning the kitchen, do not put music. So we 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 are here to like to make business, not to try to disturb the neighbor. As a businessman responsible, like I'm always trying to look after the neighbors. And we trying to put a noise limiter consulted and noise survey. And at, I already put some signs up out like on the windows like like signs like please for the customer and i'll be planning to put signs on the menu that please respect our neighbor and leave quietly and about the antisocial behavior we have not alcohol in the premises like we don't serve alcohol and we didn't we don't want to encourage alcohol so and our like our uh, parties is private mostly mostly friday and saturday and uh, like we only accept uh, a family and we only accept booking we don't accept walk in friday saturday and we have cia security by the door to look after like like to look after even to keep the door shut and we always keep the windows shut and every like half an hour i go and check the noise but if if and about the antisocial behavior i have five business in the area next to my restaurant i have two off license and I have two kebab shop in the area and uh, I have two off license. They are very busy. There is people, they buy alcohol from there. They stand outside. Doesn't mean all that from Farfish. Can't put all the blame on Farfish about the antisocial behavior because this is in the road. I try to like, I'm trying, I put some signs up on the window to, for the, for my customer. I'm trying, even like I'm trying to do on the menu, even like I'm trying to do something like, but I can't control everything out in the area because, as you know, there is off license and there is people, there is always people buying alcohol standing outside. Doesn't mean that from far fetch. We are a restaurant, we are like Italian halal restaurant. We don't encourage alcohol and we do minimum spend in the weekend like 30 pounds. Right. Is that all, Mr. Alcaraz? Yeah, that's all. Okay. If anyone have question? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask now. Call upon my fellow members. Uh, Medea, do you have any questions of Mr. Alcaraz? Thank you, Chair. Yes, just a couple. Um, hi, Mr. Alcaraz. Uh, first, of all, just to clarify a point. Um, you've mentioned that uh, your late night refreshment will be served. Uh, until uh, 2030? The late night refreshments, do they include the alcohol or just, just going to be soft drinks? Because you said you don't want to be serving alcohol on the premises. No, there is no alcohol in the premises. Even I don't apply for the license. Okay, so what are those I, late night refreshments? I don't want to encourage alcohol. Okay, so if you could just clarify, please, just for the panel, uh, what do you mean by late night refreshments? Sorry, what was that? I didn't hear it, sorry. If you could please clarify what you mean by late night refreshments. To, to serve uh, food, serving food at, like after 11 o'clock. Okay. Be able to sell food at this time. Cool. Okay, and uh, leading on from that, my second question was, um, you propose to uh, open the restaurant uh, from Thursday to Saturday, uh, one thirty a.m. in the morning. Now, if a customer decides to bring in their own alcohol, will they be allowed to drink up until one thirty, or will there be a drinking up time? So, so, sorry, you you meant I uh, open till eight uh, until one thirty. Yes. Yeah. So, if a customer brings in their own alcohol and they want to have it with their meal. So that's that's okay. Let me explain about this. So if the customer wants, I, bought, I always bought a service charge 
on like the alcohol. So I bought a high service charge for the alcohol, so that I don't encourage alcohol. So I don't like I don't say no. They can they can uh, they can bring them on alcohol, but I do serve I charge them service charge. You know, I understand that. What, I'm, what my question was, if they're, if they're eating late, say uh, one one o'clock yeah. or one thirty a.m., they're eating, and they want to drink at the same yeah. time, uh, do you have no. any in place? Till one thirty, you mean? Yes. No. So what's the latest time that you will allow them to drink up until? And uh, the latest time I will allow them to drink is like eleven. Eleven. 11. You want Okay, thank you. That's all for me, Chair. Okay, thanks. Right, uh, Councillor Butts, do you have any questions as the applicant? Uh, thank you, Chair. For the time being, no. No? Uh, okay. Right, it uh, comes to me then, Mr Alcazaz. Um, can you just tell me, because uh, I'm a bit confused, is your um, premises, is it a cafe, is it a restaurant, or is it a nightclub? Is a restaurant is Italian halal food. It's a restaurant. Yeah. Okay. And and Friday and Saturday, um, you, you seem to be implying that they were sort of guests of yours. But are they paying guests? Are they paying customers? Sorry, I didn't get that. Sorry. I said. You made a statement that Friday and Saturday they were they were mainly guests of yours that you invited in, but are they paying guests? They yes, they are they paying. Are paying. So they're, they're customers in effect. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all of my questions at the moment. Um, so I'm now going to go. You, sorry, I'll just go back to my colleagues. Do you have any other questions of the applicant before I move on? No? Um, Chair, so it's uh, Belgic Brady again here. So just to Mr Alcaraz, I, again, when you were playing music, what, what, how, was it recorded music you were playing on the premises or live music or what music was playing and how? It was recorded music. I had the live music until 11 o'clock. After 11 o'clock, I wasn't trading. I closed at 11 o'clock. OK, but then up to so during up to 11 o'clock, you were playing recorded music. Yes, we okay. was like, like the stuff a while they was cleaning. They was playing recorded music and they didn't be aware of this. And I wasn't like I wasn't aware of this. And then till they come and they witnessed. OK, so I, but while the premises were open, were you playing music during that time in any kind of live or recording? It wasn't trading, no, after 11 o'clock. No, but even before 11? Before 11, yes, it was. It was. We was trading, yes. And you were playing rec recorded music at that time? Yes. Okay, yes. And were you playing live music as well? Yes. And, and were you playing live music with an amplifier or without an amplifier? No, with, with an amplifier. Yeah. Okay, thank you for clarifying. Right, just one more question for myself. You talked about staff playing music um, whilst clearing up, but you talked about stopping them. When did you stop them? When the officer, the enforcement officer came last time, and then since that time I told them off about this, and yes they stopped they not like they didn't do it again so so when was that do we know, do we that, know? Was, that was on uh, i can't remember last time on the 6th of may 6th of may yeah i can't remember exactly the date but I, this is what i remember last visit was to the premises of the enforcement was on may yeah, the, well, the last date I've got is the 13th of May. The 13th of May, yes. And there was loud music at 2300 that night. Yes. 23.30, in fact. 23.30? Yeah, 23.32 was the actual time that the music timed 
and the complaint of loud music from the premises, which was, was by the office. Is that when you told the staff to stop playing it? So what you're saying is you had no customers in the premises at that time? No, I didn't have no customer at this time because, I, as I said, I told like the parties and at 11 o'clock. OK. All right. Okay, so now, um, so I'm now going to ask uh, the licensing authority. Uh, and do you have any questions of the applicant? Uh, yes, I do have a couple just on those recent submissions. Um, so you said that the you, the noise nuisance on the thirteenth was due to your staff, and you told them to stop. What about the other three times? Was that was that staff or, or or what? That's what I mentioned. It was that time. It was like a staff three times. It was the staff because it takes us normally two hours to clean. So the staff, you know, the, while they clean, they was playing the music, recorded. So music. They, they did it three times, and you asked them to stop, and they didn't. But on the last time, they have stopped. Is what you're saying? Just to be just to be clear. I told them the last time I told them to stop. I told them off about it that they like making like a uh, like they disturbing, they disturbing by the noise and uh, so I told them right. off. And then since that, then you didn't have no complaint. Okay, and the other question is: you mentioned you uh, do a service charge if people bring their alcohol. Is yes. that correct? Service charge, yes. Yeah. Are you aware that could be regarded as a sale of alcohol? What do you mean? Sorry, what do you mean by this? You're taking the alcohol. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Lewis. Yeah, sorry. You're taking money from the provision of alcohol that could be regarded as a sale by retail of alcohol. We, we, that's we, this is what we are open bottle. This is how we call it. We are open bottle charge, like they bring them on alcohol and we do the service. We, we supply them like the glasses, ice. This is what we do. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. What I'm telling you is that's that could be regarded as a sale of alcohol. To sell alcohol, but I'm not selling alcohol. You're linking a charge to the provision of alcohol, though. Um, I don't know if Belgic wants to come in on this. I, I to, to be honest with you, I didn't know about this because anywhere I go, like. They all offer this service charge for the alcohol. You, you bring your own alcohol and do service charge. Yeah, well, as I That's say, the open bottle, like the any, 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 like any restaurant, you go like just in the parties. I don't do it during the week, just in the parties. As I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to encourage alcohol to the premises. Even I do service charge that. That's why I don't want the alcohol. This is why I bought a service charge. So people like people hardly because I do minimum spend 30 band plus the service charge will be too high. So people they say no. OK, well, I think I've made my point here. Thank you. OK, thank you. Liz. Right. Um, I'm now going to move, move to uh, any of the uh, objectors. Do you have any questions of the applicant? I haven't been able to actually raise any of the objectors at the moment. So, Bill, are they are the objectors in in a position to speak? It sounds like Bill's not in a position to speak. <laughs> Bill, can you advise if the objectors are in a position to ask questions? Oh my. Can I ask a question again then? Is any of the objectors wish to ask a question of the applicant? Please make yourself known if you if you are or you want to. No, OK, then I'm going to move on. So I'm assuming that no other person said any further questions. So I'm now going to move um to the submissions from um 
from the objectors. So uh, it will be restricted to five minutes, but the, as I've not had any answer from them, I've not been able to raise them. Can the other, can the, the objectors, can they tell me if they, if they wish to raise the issues? I, um, are you hearing me, uh, Councillor Asim and Councillor Butt? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just wondering because Bill's not answering me. The applicant, the, the objectors are not answering me. So I'm just wondering what's happening. Well, uh, I, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah. I think we yeah, did okay. hear from Mr. Paolaski when he joined the meeting. So I don't know if he's still there or if he's able no. to yep. speak. But. Oh. Hello, it's Bill. Uh, Mr. Pavlovsky is still there. Um, I enabled his microphone and camera at the start of the meeting. Um, right. Does so he wish to ask any questions of the applicant, Bill? Can we? Uh, uh, can he hear me? I, 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 I don't, I don't know. know. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Are you able to unmute your microphone, Mr. Pavlovsky? Pavlovsky. Again, he's um, he's here in the exact same way as other guests, such as uh, Mr. Alcazar. So, as Mr. Alcazar has enabled his microphone, Mr. Polovsky should be able to enable his as well. Right. Well, I'm trying to be fair and make sure everybody's, yeah. uh, you know, having a, a, their voice to be heard. But I, you know, this is twice now. I've gone to um, the the objectors asking if they've got any comments, but I can't raise them or get any comments coming back from them and I need to move on so I'm, I'm going to ask the question once more uh, is it what was his name Mr pa pa Plosky? yeah do you have any do you wish to ask any questions of the applicant Mr Pavlovsky but you need to unmute your microphone No. Right, I'm going to move on then. It doesn't leave us with any, as they've not spoken, I can't ask any questions of the other persons. Right, then I'm going to move to summing up. So I'm going to, in the first instance, ask the licensing officer if they could sum up on their case, but please don't introduce any new material. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'll keep it brief. Uh, there's been various complaints about this premises, and uh, in fact, officers have witnessed problems uh, before, even before a license has been granted, and in fact, some during the consultation period um, we're expected to believe that this was all staff. Um, I'm not sure that that's true, if I'm being perfectly honest, but obviously I wasn't there, so I can't comment on that. Um, I think that this, in conjunction with the fact it's in a special policy area, gives us enough grounds to refuse the licence for the protection of the licence and objectives, and in particular the protection of the public nuisance licence and objective. Um, and I've seen absolutely nothing from the applicant today that leads me to believe they will be a responsible operator um, and I would remind um, everyone that a premises licence is a privilege and not a right, and I do not believe this applicant has earned it, and I believe that granting it will affect the prevention of, cri of crime disorder and public nuisance licensing objectives negatively. However, if you are minded to grant, I would ask that you grant it with the conditions I've suggested, um, with the conditions proposed in the operating schedule, and the hours reduced to be in line with those in the policy for the core licensing hours. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Lewis. Right, um, I'm going to go now again to the objectors. Um, it's it's another opportunity for you to make a point. <laughs> I can't ask you not to repeat anything you haven't said because you haven't said anything at the moment. But you have an opportunity to speak now, but it's your last opportunity. 
So, Mr. Pav Pavlovsky, was it? That if you wish to speak, you need to unmute your your microphone and and, and speak now. No, it doesn't. Oh, hold on. What's happening? No, no. Right. I'm now going to go. I'm going to move to the applicant now. Uh, Mr. Alcazaz, you have now have the opportunity to um, to sum up on your case. Please don't introduce any new material, but do, you know, if you wish us to, you know, to take notes of anything that you've already said, then you can emphasize that. So you've got if, if you wish to sum up, do so now. Yeah. Mr. Alcazar, are you going to sum up? Hi. Mr. Alcazar, are you there? I am here. My brother would like to. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, would you like to sum up on your case? Yeah, I, I'm hearing other people, but I'm not hearing you, Mr. Alcazar. Hi, my name is Mohanad. Can you hear me? I'm yes. Majid, I'm, I'm Majid brother. Right. So are you going to sum up? Yes. Uh, I want you, to... If you're doing it, you can't introduce anything that's not been said by your brother. No, no, no. It's different, completely different. No, I don't want you to be completely different. No, no, no. I'm considered about our place. Yeah, no, please listen to me. Yes, sir. The summing up is, a, is, is, is giving you the opportunity to go over what has already been said by your brother. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. So don't introduce any new items. Otherwise, I'll have to stop you. Okay. All right, so that's what the summing up is. It's you just going over what's already been said by your brother and emphasizing any points you wish to emphasize, but do not introduce new material. It's not new material. We're trying to help our business and we try to get some support from you guys. We are, as a family business, we working very hard to, we never had any complaint from our neighbor when we are trading. We're trading like when the complaint comes before we, the complaint comes, if you're laughing, sorry, but with, with the complaint comes about like before. And now when we done the insulation, sound insulation for the property and we done our best to not disturb our neighbor. Even I spoke with our neighbor and I said, please, if you have any complaint, please come to our uh, place and make the complaint and ask us. We are here to help our neighbor and we spend a lot of money to prepare very good place in the area. In the area. In either words, wasn't the place is good and we try to bring the good people and uh, we're not trying to, to, to get sorry, like, you know, uh, to make trouble, to disturb, to disturb our neighbor. We are looking like if the neighbor comes to us and say, let's say, in the morning, we don't like, you know, we never. One of the complaints I was reading it, sorry, if you go back to the complaint, we start our life in music from nine o'clock in the morning until one o'clock in the evening. And which is, wasn't right if you read the complaint. Wasn't right at all. If you read one, one of the complaints from eight o'clock in the morning, we never open eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning. We never. We open around one, one thirty afternoon. And which is, is, is unfair for us. And some of the neighbors, they say, we, we allow the people to park the cars next on the single yellow line, which is it's not our, we tell our customer to not park the car over there. If you are one of the customer, one of the people parking the, your car on the single yellow line after 6.30, and me, I'm a business owner, I came to you, I said, excuse me, don't park your car there. You're gonna say, what's it like? Is that your business? And the people making complaint for nothing, for something, we're not, we're not doing it. 
the single yellow line, if you go to the complaint and read it. Yeah, I don't think any yellow lines are part of this uh, of this uh, yes, sir. hearing. Yes, I, sir. I haven't heard anybody mention yellow lines in this they hearing. They say we're disturbing, the, the, well, that's what they're saying. They're saying we're disturbing, like we're making uh, people uh, standing outside. And this, if you pass our place, you're not going to see people standing our next to our place. We don't have even delivery system. Yeah, can you stick to what was already been said? I mean, you've already said that you, yes, sir. you, you don't, you don't, you don't open. You, your hours that you've asked for are eight o'clock in the morning. No, we, we, well, we are. don't say no we, to me. Yeah, I'm reading but what you never open from eight o'clock in the morning, sir. We never oh, open. Well, what time is it? Eight o'clock in the evening? No, we, sir, we open. We came to the place, our place. We came two o'clock afternoon. We open two o'clock afternoon. But your hours of opening, hours premises are open to the public, standard days, timings. That's your application, not the council's. Ye yes, sir. 0800 to 2330, Monday. Yes, sir. Then the same all the way through to Wednesday, then 0800 to 0130 Thursday yes. and Friday yes. and Saturday, yes. and then yes. 10 o'clock to 2300 on a Sunday. Now, yes. you've written that, not me. We, yes, sir. We asked so don't for. Tell me it's not no, true. No, 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 sir. Can you tell if me? If it's not me? true, then we might as well tear this up, haven't we? No, which is respect for you. We asked for that time, but one of the complaints, that's what I'm saying, one, one of the complaints, sir. They say we when we start eight o'clock in the morning, we read the complaint. You send it to us. They said we start playing music from eight eight or nine o'clock in the morning until one o'clock, and we disturb her son. He can't do her homework. If you go back to the complaint, sir, I'm not saying we want to disturb anyone. Do you understand where I come from? One of the complaint. That's what they say. We said we start playing music from eight when since when we open until when we close. Which is unfair. That's what I'm trying to say, sir. Right. I, I look at entry F, recorded music, standard days, timings that you have written, not me, you yes. have written 0800 to 2300 on a Monday. They're yes, the sir. same all the way through the week at eight o'clock in the morning. That's yes. what it says. Now, you can't blame customers thinking that's what you're going to do, can you? Or residents, if well, you've written can... that. That's perfect. We want to open from that time until what time? One o'clock in the morning, example. Yeah, that's what we want. But we never play live music from eight o'clock. That's what I'm trying to mention and say. All right. OK, right. Well, uh, we want to open our place from eight o'clock in the morning, but there is no live music from eight o'clock in the morning. That's what I'm trying to, to tell you. But if you're you asking us to license you to provide music at eight o'clock in the morning. No, we don't want eight o'clock in the morning. But we you're are... asking us to do that. If we grant your license, that's what you've got. But not to live in the morning. That's right. Because that's not what you've asked record, for. Recording music, like, you know, to come to listen that's for, not, not for recorded. Recorded music. It's not live music, sir. I didn't say live music. I said recorded music. Ah, sorry, I do my apology. Yes, we asked for recorded music. It's not loud. It's a very, very, like, you know, when you enter the place, you will listen to some kind of music, like when you're having your coffee, when you're having your lunch, when you're having kind of uh, life place. It's not like life music loud and this. I no don't know. Enter... We don't differentiate. It just says live music. We, live, we... Sorry, it says recorded music. We don't differentiate whether it's, you know, eight decibels or 96 decibels. Uh, sir, what we're asking, we're asking only for from 11, from 11 until 1, 130 to have live music to, uh, to, 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 to like, you know, when we're doing our party, we get, we do minimal spend. We're not taking anyone. And even we try to do like the monitor See, for the, to live for the music. Point, from 11 after 11 evening, evening from 11 until 130 evening. Yeah. We are right. okay, well, look. Hour. Can we, look, we're trying to, in, you, 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 you're bringing on material that was not mentioned by your brother. So can we can we move on? And we appreciate your help, by the way. Thank you very much. We, we are here to help our community. We're not here to disturb our neighbor. Do you understand? Right, I... Like we want, we want our, if we can see like, you know, we leave home to come for work like to, to, to get our food, like our living. We not we didn't come here to, sorry, to disturb uh, our neighbor. Maybe we're gonna see our neighbor a lot. Even we look after them. We're gonna give them like, you know, we ask them if they come to us, they buy some food, some like, you know, from us, we give them discount because we are neighbor. 
if we don't look after them, we don't want it. Like we do our living sir. Yeah, it's not. It's the neighbours that made the complaints during the, the first six months of this year. It's the neighbours that made the complaints. It wasn't the council. The council, we, act, the council reacted to the complaints, but the complaints were made by the neighbours. Yes, we, we, our community, we leave the same community. If they are, okay, they're making the complaint. Okay, but now since 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 the last complaint, did you have any complaint from them? Well, no, that's why it's the last complaint. Yeah, but we we never we never disturbed them. Even like you know, we never even we done we like we spent. If I want, I show you now. I tell much to show you. We spent a lot of money on the uh, sound up, uh, solution. Like we done like we 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 try to 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 cover all the noise. We try to monitor. For, like we filled everywhere. We like we try to buy monitor for the like noise. Do you understand? Like sound uh, so, sound monitor. Sound limiters. Yes, I know what they yes. are. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. We 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 already we going to buy one just like to make our neighbor. We don't want our neighbor to be upset from us. Sorry, is this but a summing up your has been going on all year, all, all this year from January onwards? And we're now in July, and and you know you you talk about doing that, but you you actually were breaking the rules, you breaking the law um, for 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 enduring during the period after you even after you applied for the license, you were still in breach of the regulations. Uh, sir, we're playing music when you shouldn't be playing music. You didn't have a music license. You know, you were applying for one, but you didn't have one. Only you have received the complaint only Friday and Saturday. As we've been yeah, trading. Right. OK, Look, I'm going to wrap this meeting up now, so we're going to move on. So is there anything else you wish to say that is, was in, in summer, summarising, not in argument? Sorry, sir, we're not trying to argue at all. We're not trying. We are here to talk. We are here to explain. So right, any okay. complain, like anyone could make complain, but like sir, we're not trying to argue. Sorry, but this is like we're not here trying to argue. We're here trying to explain ourselves. Yeah. Okay. I've we, I've heard that. Right. So have you finished sorry, now? Sorry, we're under pressure. We, I'm sorry if, if if you got me. I'm arguing. No, I'm never gonna be arguing with you. I'm so sorry. We are here like to get some help and survive and like that's it. We're not here to yeah, argue you. anyone. We do our apology if you misunderstand us. Yeah, okay. So, I do my apology. Right, if, have uh, you finished now? Have you... Thank you for your help. Again, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Right, okay. So, we now need... Well, we now reach the stage um, where we, the panel is going to move away to another room for deliberations, but I'd like a legal advisor to clarify the procedures for making the decision and what the options are open to us as a licensing panel. So, can it, so are you able to do that? Don't tell me you well, I'm not going to, so uh, it's. it's oh, of course you're not. No, no wonder. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm just getting, I'm getting punchy. Sorry. That's OK. Um, so for the benefit of everyone, the um, the members will now uh, adjourn the meeting and go up and deliberate uh, this matter. And, you know, uh, no, um, the chair can give a an estimated time as to how long he thinks it will take before coming back to this meeting room to announce whether or not a decision has been made or if further time is required. The options open to the panel are to grant the application in full and on the terms and conditions contained within the application to include any applicable mandatory conditions uh, to grant the application as above modified to such an extent as considered appropriate to satisfy any relevant representations and prevent the licensing objectives or they can reject the application in whole or in part. So that is um, the options open to the uh, licensing panel, so it's really up to you, Chair, how, how long do you think um, you'll give us an initial indication 
Of, so um, let's assume, let's assume 15 minutes at this this point, and then if it looks like it's going on for longer than that, then we get a message back through our officers advising uh, the applicants and and uh, uh, and others that it's it's going on a bit longer. But we're, we're let's for the moment uh, assume 15 minutes. So we're now at uh, 2037, so coming up to 2040. So 2055, we'd expect to be back. OK, so um, can I just say that um, I've got to let you know that when we're away, you're, you're, everyone involved in the meeting, turn off their mic, video cameras and microphones while you're waiting for the panel to return, as the meeting will still be live and viewable by the public. So please don't talk to each other with the cameras and microphones on, as this will mean you've been overheard and recorded. Uh, I'd also ask you all to not to leave the meeting. So if you are ready for, uh, for our return to hear the decision, if you cannot wait, may I thank you for your involvement. I now formally ask my fellow members and our legal advisor to leave this meeting for the time being and join me in the withdrawing meeting. Right, thank you.
Hi, Nicola. Are they still deliberating in the other room? I believe so. I know I've seen Councillor Buck come in a couple of times, but I presume yeah, that's yeah. where they are. Yeah. I'll, I'll nip into the other room and check. OK. Um, yes, everybody, the panel are still deliberating. Just going right. to confirm that. OK.
unhitch me. Right, we're all here. Bill, are you in the premises? I am, Chair. You are, good. Yep. Okay. So everything's all right. Is everyone here? Do you know, Bill? Um, we still have the um, applicant and his brother. Okay, all right. Yep. And okay. um, I think Baljeet's here. I've just seen him. Yeah, he was yep. just yep. making sure uh, that he could get Yep, there you are. Yep. Good. Okay. Right. We have considered all of the arguments that we've had before us this evening, and we've reached a decision. And what we are prepared to do is allow uh, the premises to be licensed um, at the council's core hours, which is not the hours that were asked for, but is the core hours, which are Monday to Thursday, 0900 to 2300, Friday and Saturday, 0900 to midnight, Sunday, 10 to 22.30. After that time, um, we, we, I mean, we did hear that comments that, uh, that cleaners were leaving the radios on and playing loud music. No loud music will be, no music will be allowed to be played outside those hours, whether it's being paid by uh, staff or whether it's being paid because you've got customers in there. Or they, they, they've got customers, so you will not be allowed to play loud music outside of these hours or amplified music. Or live music, in fact. So. Um, in addition to that, we will be attaching the. Uh, the conditions that were put in by uh, the officer enforcement officer, they will be attached in their entirety to this report. So it just leads me to say that you will get a, a full copy of the report published within the next five working days. And if any objections are there, they can, uh, the appeals can be made to the magistrate's court within 25 working days. So, sorry, Joe, just, it's, 20, it's 21 working days, but. Uh, sorry, 21 working days. Did I say 25? Yeah, 21 working days. Right. So all we need to now is remind the applicants that if you are in breach of any of these uh, new timings or conditions, then you will in fact um, it will be reported to the officers and they will uh, will be in a position to take enforcement action if, if they see fit. So it's important that you, re, you, you comply with these regulations that are being issued to you. Can I just be sure that uh, the applicants are aware of that? Yes, we are aware of this. Yeah, OK. So as I say, you'll get the full copy of this uh, report within five working days. Other than that, um, thank you for your attendance and I wish you all good night. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chair. Good night. Thank you, good night everyone. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Right. Good night. Bye.